Hello everyone, this is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona, and I love to come live to show you what I've been working on in my craft room. Uh, this month it's July, of course, and I have been working on Christmas in July, and I wanted to show you something, um, it's a fun fold, using a um, stamp set and dies that are already in the annual catalog so you could get started on your holiday crafting um, if you so desire. It's good to at least start thinking about it and get some ideas in your head. Um, let me know I'm, if you need some help designing some some cards that you uh, can make and send. Just let me know. I'd love to help. Hey, Jeanne, thanks so much for joining. Um, and thanks everyone who is going to pop on either um, live or watch the replay. Playing with my ruler, I don't know. What's up. Um, but I appreciate all of you stopping by. Again, if you have any questions, give me a shout. You can also find me at KimPlaysWithPaper.com. Remember to today, Tuesday, July 23rd, 2024, um, Stampin' Up! is offering free shipping on orders of $75 or more before tax and shipping. Um, with that, you'd also earn a $5 bonus day coupon code that you could that you redeem in August for $5 off your product. So double dipping, lots going on. Um, but let's stop, um, get down to the workplace um, and get started. And I'll show you what's going on, um, what I've been working on. So it is, um, it's, using the Merriest Trees stamp set and the Merriest Trees dies. You'll find that on page 78 of Stampin' Up's uh, annual catalog. I used this one a lot last year, um, made a lot of different cards. And so now I've got even a different one to show you today. This is a Z fold. So I will give you the directions on how to make that and we'll make one here together. Um, I am using some designer series paper that can be found um, online. It's an online exclusive. It's the season of green and gold 12 by 12 specialty designer series paper. This um, green plaid is lovely. The other side of the designer series paper has these awesome, awesome gold accents, and um, I can direct you to that if you need as well. Hey, Wendy, thanks so much for joining. Here's the Z Fold card we'll be making um, today. Real, um, real easy design um, and using some designer series paper. Hey, Christine, thanks for popping in. Let me, let me use, leave that as kind of our... Um, our guide, um, put the punch up there to kind of hold a, hold it down so we can see it. Hey, Carol Ann, thanks for joining. Um, so here's the Smerius Tree stamp set. It's a photopolymer, meaning that the stamps are clear and you can see right through them in order to get um, some layering and some stamping. And the dies are awesome as well. They create um, Christmas tree. So this one cuts out your entire tree. Um, I also really, really love this tag. Um, it also comes with just loads of other um, stars and bits of trees, big trees, small trees, ornaments, all the Christmas tree accompaniments. All right. So we do need to start with our um, cardstock. It is... Um, eight and a half by five and a half. And we do need to score that. So let me move these out of the way. So it's eight and a half by five and a half. And all right, I thought that was a good idea. So um, love my trimmer because I have the scoring and cutting on the same track. So I am going to score at um, four and one quarter. And that's this lighter gray, four and one quarter. And then again at two and one eighth. Um, all right, so that, I'm done with that. You can set that aside. And I'll get my bone folder out. 
glue dot stick into everything. And then I'm just going to give this a nice um, burnish here. Hey Jane, how you doing? Good to see you. Making a Z Fold holiday card. And then I fold that one back. So I started with an eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, scored at two and one eighth, fold and burnish at four and a quarter, and then um, fold that one back. So um, a lot of um, the bulk of this is um, designer series paper. And I always think uh, we have the best designer series paper and it really, um, it really adds to the card. Hey, Lori. Hey, Kathy. Thanks so much for joining. So um, I have cherry cobbler pieces as well as those pieces from the Season of Green and Gold Designer Series paper. As you can see, there is the um, greenery and the gold on the other side. But for this card, I chose this side. Hey, Christine. Thanks for joining. Um, Let's see, just getting all the pieces together here. Um, again, the measurements are on my blog, so be sure to be sure to check there for those. Um, and so I'm just going to ad adhere this. I looks like I may need to make a cut on my designer series paper. Um, I, um, the grid, this, so, hi, Vicki, thanks for joining. The Glass Mat Studio is available for customer purchase. So if you've been waiting for that, it's now available. So you might want to get your hands on that because there is a measuring grid on there. So it's five by um, one and three quarters for the designer series paper. And then it's five and a quarter by two for that cherry cobbler. And it fits in that little spot just right there. Uh, this is a nice, nice stamping surface with a lot of really fun benefits to it. Um, so I'm just going to tuck that right in here. And then this other one will fit as well. And it looks like I uh, need to make a quick adjustment, and that's fine. Sometimes, um, sometimes we do just need to uh, kind of adjust. So I'm going to cut that to five. So that's um, cherry cobbler goes really well with this old olive, I think. Then we'll do some stamping. Um, anybody starting their Christmas cards in July? Or are you just getting inspiration and hope to um, hope to get started? So that goes in here. There's it just fits right like so. And then I'll put these. So like I say, there's um, a little bit of stamping, but way a more designer series paper. But it just makes it um, it just makes it fun, and I love. I love just starting out with um, pieces of paper and watching the card come to life with that. So then I have a five and a quarter by four um, piece of cherry cobbler. And I'll, I'll go ahead and put that in there. And there is a little space to write a message in this card if you want. Um, this little white piece right here. Um, okay, put that there. Then I have a, a another piece of um, designer series paper, and it looks like I'm a little long again. You know, you get something in your head, so I am going to cut that to five. So that's, um, again, look for those measurements on my blog. KimPlaysWithPaper.com. Hey, Crystal, thanks for joining. We're making a Christmas in July using Stampin' Up's Marius Trees stamp set and the Marius Trees dies. These were available in last holiday catalog, and I used them a lot. I just, I love the big tree. Um, lots of options. If you want to see more options, give me a shout, and I will certainly direct you to that. And then I have a little piece of white that fits right in here. And that's where you can write your message. 
And um, I know my sister, I make Christmas cards for her every year and she always wants me to stamp something in the inside so she doesn't have to write much. So this card would be perfect for her. But I also love this, this fun fold. Um, it's a Z fold just because then you can set it up and, um, and display it as well. Hey, Sandy, thanks for joining. It is a fun card. Um, and then I just have a white piece that I picked out here that I need to stamp on. And I did choose Old Olive with these larger stamps. I stamp from above and I have a really juicy, a fresh pad. And um, I always recommend buying the reinkers because then you can reink them and keep them like this. Um, all right. And then I just need to, of course, get green ink everywhere. Hey, Teresa, thanks for joining. All righty. Uh, now that I've messed around here, I'm going to try to reink it one more time. I had ink on my thumb and, <laughs> yeah. We know. Have you stamped if you don't if you don't have ink everywhere? And then I'm just going to press down evenly and firmly to make sure that ink um, seeps into the um, to the basic white cardstock. And one thing you will notice that as time goes on, that um, that color will lessen a little bit. And then I'm going to die cut that with. Um, the largest tree from the Marius Trees dies. And I have done one ahead of time. Hey, Chris, thanks for joining. So you can see this, there's both the same um, ink. So this is one that has dried just a little bit. So um, really interesting how, how that works. Um, so I will set that aside and we'll, um, we'll put that on shortly. And then we need the, the greeting um, from the Marius Tree stamp set. Hoping your home is filled with the spirit of this season. And I did choose Cherry Cobbler for that. This is a little, this is a three and a half inch piece by like three quarters. So it's a tight fit. Um, but with a photopolymer, I can see. I'm just kind of tapping that ink on on the, let's just press that on. And then what's really nice is I can wipe that off here with, um, with that chamois that comes with the Glass Mat Studio. All right, so you can see it's a tight fit, but I can do it. Press down evenly and firmly, and again, give that ink just a little bit time to sink in and I am actually gonna try that again it's a little crooked um, I'm trying not to get my head in the video but my motto is when I teach classes is it's only paper so you have the other side if you need to um, and these little scraps when you cut the five um, your basic white to five and a quarter by four these little scraps are perfect for that so let's there we go. That's perfect. And then um, I did give the ends of that a little bit of a, um, a design. And this is the... Um, so you have two different designs you can use. I think I like this one. This looks more like a um, pick a punch, pick a label, and just do each end of that like so okay all right now we're ready to put the tree on the front hey hey Denise thanks for joining remember our Z fold now the key for this is to be sure that you only put adhesive on the left hand side of the tree you don't want to put it on the right hand or uh, we would glue the card shut um, so you kind of have to be strategic about that and I am, I think I'll start with some glue dots just along, along the left hand side here. Um, because I don't, definitely don't want it, um, 
I don't want it stuck together. So how I lined that up, when the card is closed, it, it just it just looks like your tree is on the front. So I'm lining up the tip of the tree with the edge of with the edge of the Z fold. So that's how that goes together. And um, okay, and I'll put the sentiment on, and I just um, made that go on flat as well with just um, um, with glue dots. Put a few on the back. Again, I don't want to put too many on here so that it sticks to the paper. Um, just a reminder, if you are watching live today, um, that there's free shipping from Stampin' Up! for orders of $75 or more. So that's a great... Um, check the online exclusives. There's lots of good things there. And then um, I just covered my, put that little bit on my tree. And the die cuts, the Marius Trees die cuts also include little stars. So I did die cut one with Cherry Cobbler. I'll just place a little glue dot on the back and place that on the tree. And then, of course, we have to have some jewels and um, the, the uh, Stampin' Up's online exclusive release. We got these Cherry Cobbler and Pearl adhesive-backed berries. I love these. Look at how fun they are. Um, so you can use the berries for other things. I'm just going to use them as like um, little adornments for now um, on each side. So I'll just grab one with my pick tool and stick them on right here. You're most welcome, Kathy. Thanks for being here. Um, I love this designer series paper. I won't tell you how many packages I bought, um, but I am using them all because I'm using them for projects all, um, all month long. So there you are. This is um, the Marius Trees stamp set then the dies with the z fold so you can um display it if you want or whomever gets it think of all the other papers and all the other designs that you can use with this but i love how this big tree just kind of covered up the whole thing and it's it's just um it's um kind of clean and simple not a lot involved in it uh but anyway, so I hope you like the card today. Again, if you uh, need directions, uh, take a peek at my blog at kimplayswithpaper.com or give me a shout. I'll answer um, any questions that you may have via my email or leave a message on um, this post. But I hope you have a uh, really nice week and rest of the weekend, and I'll see you next time. Um, happy stamping, everyone. Bye-bye.